Hi and welcome back to Music Messages Tarot, everybody. I hope you're doing really well. This is this week's edition of the Friday Tea, where we just kind of tap into um, whatever messages are the most significant for those listening, and we kind of dig a little deeper to see what's going on. As I'm shuffling our main deck, I, I've cleansed everything. I've cleansed our space already. I'm just kind of giving our main deck a shuffle. I have a song in my head. I believe it's from the early to mid 2000s. I don't even know the lyrics fully. I'm just gonna kind of hum it for you. The fireflies. I think. I think the name of the song is Fireflies. I don't remember. So that's for someone. That's gonna be important because if I can't even remember the lyrics, I mean, there's a reason that that must be coming through to me right now. Um. I believe the name of the song is Fireflies, and if I was allowed to play it on the channel, I would just play it from my phone, but nope. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm just giving us one last shuffle, and we're going to get right into it today. All right, Knight of Cups. Yep, that's, that's what I was channeling, guys. Okay, so what? let me just tell you what I'm getting before I pull any more cards. I'm getting a heavy... Um, vibe of surveillance but not in a negative way like sometimes I get kind of a stalkery vibe I'm not getting it in that way I'm getting somebody's watching you but in a positive way so either somebody has very romantic feelings for you like a secret admirer and for some of you that's definitely going to be the case with the knight of cups having come out first um, but for others of you this might be <clears throat> like a job scout headhunter someone who like you stood out in some way for a job or a position or some kind of opportunity. I do get that for most of you though. This is going to be a secret admirer reading. So I probably should have said that before I started pulling, but it makes a lot of sense that the Knight of Cups came out first. We have the Seven of Wands. So possibly someone feeling like they need to defend their connection with you, or you might be feeling a little defensive when this person comes towards you. All right, it might also be a water sign that's coming towards you, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Swords. <laughs> Can't make it up, friends. Somebody's watching you. But it's in a positive way, I think. I mean, this person, they want to offer you this cup of love here. So, yeah, I think for a lot of you, this is going to be a secret admirer, like I said before. Ten of Cups, okay? So they see you as like their wish fulfillment, their happiness, their, they see a family life with you. Can't really pull, I mean, Ten of Cups is one of the most beautiful energies you can pull for a love reading. Let's, uh, let's clarify a little on this. I'm actually going to pull a few more of these cards. Yeah. This is beautiful energy so far. I think you are feeling a little defensive. Um... If not, then this person wants to defend their connection with you. Maybe they see other people approaching you. We're going to get lots of more information on this. The sun. You could be dealing with Leo. Um, but this person sees you as everything that they want. This is beautiful, happy, optimistic, exciting energy between you and this person. So when they come in, it might be kind of like a, a whirlwind ro romance. As I was saying that, I saw 333 on my clock here. So it could be a whirlwind type romance, um, something that starts very passionately and in an exciting way. I want to dig in on the Seven of Wands a little bit. Um, the Page of Swords doesn't really concern me in this spread so far because, like I said, I was get it, getting a heavy secret admirer, someone kind of peeking over the fence type energy, but in a very romantic way. And like the rest of the cards would support that. Um, I just want to kind of find out what's going on with this Seven of, of Wands in a minute. All right, we do have the devil. So if you're feeling defensive over something, you may have recently dealt with a situation that um, had you dealing with either your own devil energy or somebody else's devil energy. Uh, maybe you were dealing with someone who didn't have your best intentions at heart. So um, maybe somebody who was very controlling, very manipulative. Um, this person might embody some of those characteristics. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad person. It just might mean that they are carrying a little bit of devil energy with them. They might be a little on the obsessive side over you right now is kind of the vibe that I'm getting because they have very positive romantic feelings for you. Um, you just might need to defend yourself or feel like you need to defend yourself either because of a past situation where you were dealing with that kind of behavior or this might be like future influence. So you might 
when you connect with this person, it might be very romantic and passionate and fun, but they might be carrying a little bit of devil energy with them that you kind of feel you need to defend yourself from. We're going to clarify. You can also be dealing with a Capricorn, possibly. We're going to clarify, though. The star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. We already have three major arcana out as well. So this could be a very significant connection. Um, this person... You could be their wish fulfillment. Um, you might see them as your wish fulfillment when you meet them. Okay, so very beautiful positive energies here. Um, they might see you as a star, someone who stands out to them, and that's kind of why you caught their eye. For those of you that this is going to resonate more as a career reading, which I don't think that's the case for most of you, but if, if you have caught someone's eye because of your talent or, and I did just see 555 five, five on the clock, guys, so for some of you this might resonate, um, because of your talent or because of your skills or something that sets you apart. Um, you really have that star-like quality going on right now, okay? I do have my coffee with me again today, so please excuse me. Let's get one more card here. And we have the moon. So something about this situation maybe hasn't come to light yet. Um, maybe this person has a secret they don't want you to know about when they first come toward you. Or they try to present in a way that's like not fully upfront. That might be where some of this devil energy is coming in. But four major arcana right on the bottom here. So I actually am going to clarify first. And then we are going to pull some oracle cards to get some more concrete information on what's going on here. Okay, very interesting reading so far though. Very exciting too because like I said, as I was meditating before this reading, I got a secret admirer kind of crush vibe. Someone watching you, but not in a malicious way. So I think this is going to be an exciting time for most of you. The moon card doesn't even really concern me too much here. It might just even be that you need to lean into your intuition when you meet this person. Because maybe, maybe you are feeling defensive, like I said, from a previous situation. Maybe this person has a little bit of baggage that they're carrying with them. And that's going to put you on like high defense. So maybe you're just going to need to listen to your intuition a little bit. Um, but what I'm saying is I think your intuition is going to guide you to go to, to continue giving this person a chance. All right. Because I'm getting that for some of you, you're coming out of a situation that left you feeling very defensive. Okay. Let's just get some clarity. I'm not going to clarify on all the cards. I do want to get a clarity on the seven of wands. So spirit, what's the seven of wands here? Who's feeling defensive? Who's going to need to defend themselves and why? All right, four of wands. I think this person wants to defend their connection with you because they see you as a possible future, like, foundation in their life. They see you as their stability, possibly having a family life with you in the future. So... I'm getting that they want to defend this kind of idea that they have of what this relationship could be between the two of you. Yep, two of cups. So four of wands and two of cups, that's like a, a potential future marriage or like a really beautiful union that could result in marriage or a family life. So I think maybe the person is feeling defensive your person that's coming towards you is feeling a little defensive over your connection like they they're kind of overthinking it a little bit and maybe they see other people wanting to approach you i think i might have said that before and they want to make sure that they're doing this the right way um because they don't they don't want you to get away they don't want to see you with somebody else and they want to defend this this idea that they've kind of created of the two of you this is what they're fantasizing about right now. They're fantasizing about their two of cups with you. Perfect union. This might even be like a high level soulmate coming in. And they're also fantasizing about having this marriage with you, I think. Like having this life with the four of wands and the ten of cups here. That's what it is. So they've kind of already made up their mind about you, it seems to me. And they want to defend that at all costs. Okay, so that gives us a little clarity there. I definitely want to get some clarity around this devil card and the moon. Because these are kind of like the shadow cards that came out here. 
So let's see what's going on with that. And then we'll pull some Oracle cards. This is kind of heavy for the Friday tea, friends. I mean, some of you have someone coming towards you who sees you as like wifey or husband material here. That's super exciting. Could be dealing with a cancer as well. I don't know if I said that before. All right, what's this devil energy, please, spirit? What's this devil energy on the table? I don't like when a devil shows up in my spreads, but let's see what's going on here. Three of Cups. One or both of you might be dealing with a third party situation here. I, I get the sense that somebody, this person might not have detached from another relationship, but they have their eye on you and they kind of know that you're what they really want. Just be careful to make sure that they're not, uh, you know, already kind of attached to a different relationship or seeing somebody else, you know, make sure they've made that clean break before they start anything with you. Ten of Pentacles. So, that's an interesting combo there. Um, I think it's just that they see you as their Ten of Pentacles. They see, they want this family life with you. Um, but I do sense a third party somewhere here in the mix and the devil energy could just be kind of underlying. Like they see this pe perfect, beautiful union here with you with the two of cups, the four of wands, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, the sun. Like there's so much here. There's so much beautiful energy, the star. You're their wish fulfillment. You are everything that they want in this family life that they've kind of built up in their mind. But I do feel like they have some kind of devilish attachments that they haven't let go of quite yet. That might be, like I said, a third party. Uh, this could be a vice for some of them. This could be like drinking, toxic behavior, things like that, partying, uh, things that they, they're going to say that they are ready for something super mature and adult, but maybe that they're still holding on to underneath the surface. I don't get that this devil energy is like a deal breaker for most of you, but I think you just need to be aware that there are some things kind of under the surface, especially here with the moon card. There's things under the surface that might come out as you deal with this person over time that you might have to work through or that you, you don't see initially, okay? Let's get some information on the moon here. What needs to come to the surface for the collective to be able to move forward with this person because I mean you have gorgeous potential here with them I can't deny the fact that there are so many positive cards on the table right now that's why I'm saying this devil energy I don't think it's like a true deal breaker for you and this person we're gonna get more info though what's this moon card king of swords all right so this person they might there might be a truth that comes to the surface that you're unprepared for. You might also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this person might be someone who heavily strategizes to get what they want. So they might present one way, like I said at the beginning, because they've already built up this. They have very romantic feelings for you, but they've already built up this idea of like what they want with you. And they're going to kind of keep some information or traits about themselves kind of hidden under the surface because they know that this won't serve their strategy to like get in your good graces okay so they might present as maybe a little bit more healed and evolved than they really are when you first meet them you just got to keep an eye on this right here like whatever this third party situation or vice is you might need to to be mindful of that all right let's see what else comes out here on the moon card what else for the moon Page of Swords. So yeah, this is someone who does their research and creates a strategy to get what they want. And that might kind of, like I said, that's going to leave some information out of the light that you might need to make an informed decision here. It's not because they don't see you as everything that they want. They most certainly do. Um, but it's because of that that they're kind of strategizing and hiding some information from you they might you know it just might be somebody who puts on a really like their best best foot forward when they first meet you and then like you find out they have a habit or a tendency or a connection to somebody else that you were unaware of later on so just you know be a little bit cautious i do think there's a lot of reason to be optimistic here though so like if you have a secret admirer you, these are a lot of the cards you would want to come out in that kind of a situation but uh 
there's definitely going to be something that comes up to the surface later on that maybe takes you by surprise a little bit. I want to get a little bit of clarity on this star card here as well. Okay. Knight of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who is very passionate about you because they do see you as their dream fulfillment, um, their wish fulfillment. Uh, the Knight of Wands on this card always looks like he's plotting as he looks over to the mountain on this card to me. So this Knight of Wands is plotting on how to get you into their life because they see you as such a shining star who stands apart from the rest. You've certainly caught, caught their eye and they just want to know like how to kind of get into your life at this point. Two of Swords. They don't, they're, they're at a stalemate in some ways, knowing how to proceed. I think they're strategizing too heavily here. And that's, that's what's going to cause certain information to be left out when they finally do come towards you. They are most likely going to come towards you very soon, right? With all these romantic feelings going on and all this kind of heavy fantasizing they have around your connection. I do get that they're going to come towards you, but right now they might be kind of at a stalemate in their own mind about how to do that because they're, it's almost like they're strategizing too much. All right. And then when they come towards you, it's going to be from this place of strategy of like how to get you versus being completely open and genuine. So there's just going to be a little bit of devil energy here in the mix somewhere. I do get for some of them, it is going to be with a third party. Like they haven't broken it off with someone else yet when they come towards you. All right, um, let's get some more specific information on what's going on here. Okay, short illness. So you might be dealing with a short illness. This person might be dealing with a short illness. Maybe that's going to possibly hinder your connection or like affect the time frame for when they come towards you. Um, actually, for some of you, I'm getting like puppy love here. I'm getting that some of them are just... They're like overcome with their emotions for you. That's what I'm getting. The number 31 might be significant to someone as well. Yeah. For some of you, this might equate to like an illness that you've been dealing with or that your person's been dealing with. But um, I think that this person is kind of lovesick over to you for lack of a better term right now. Marriage. This is what they want with you. And I, it came out right next to this four of wands two of cups here i think they want to defend this at all costs okay so they've decided like you could potentially be the one for them the number three might also be significant march 31st might also be significant to somebody uh this person wants marriage with you uh, they at least see you that way right now okay unexpected money This could be potentially a very wealthy person that's coming towards you. Number 27 might be significant to you. Okay. Let's see anything else that wants to come out. A pleasant letter. So this person's going to be communicating with you very shortly. And the number seven might be significant. March 27th could be significant. July 27th or July 31st. Um, take those as they resonate. Uh, yeah, this person sees you as everything they want. They are completely lovesick in their head over you right now. Uh, they're strategizing a little too hard, like I said. So some, some aspects of their personality or your connection with this person might take some time to come to the surface. So just be mindful. You might want to take it slow because I think they're going to want to come in with this strategy and kind of swoop you up and, and sweep you off your feet, which is beautiful energy but you want to make sure you you really get to know whoever you're going to be getting involved with just because there are some things below the surface that do need to come to light um this may be a very wealthy person as well sorry about that my device okay so we're just going to pull some a couple more oracle cards a beautiful reading overall honestly i there's just you know, mostly positive, beautiful energy on the table here. So whoever this is that you've caught their eye, you have a lot of potential with this person. All right. Keep your temper, it says. And it did land right on the card. This is where the devil card was. 
your person might have a temper issue, anger issues, something along those lines. I, I get that it's like a personality trait or characteristic that they're going to try to hide from you at first. So like I said, just make sure you really know who you're dealing with. Don't stampede. This, this is going to be a very tempting whirlwind romance. And it can possibly have very beautiful potential. But I wouldn't rush through it because I don't think that's going to serve you. I think there are going to be things about this person you're going to want to get to know at a little bit of a slower pace. So keep your temper. I always get very heavy fire sign energy off that card as well. Let's see what else. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. So yeah, I'm getting that this person might have some like more of a shadow side than they're going to let on. So maybe some anger issues. Maybe they're a little controlling too. Um, they definitely, they're obsessed with this idea of creating a life with you. They, they're kind of hell-bent on this idea at this point um, because they do have such romantic feelings for you, but don't let that kind of overtake you as an individual, like make sure you can still, you still pursue your dreams and your life continues to stay on track the way you want it to be. Like don't let them have complete control over you is how I'm taking that. Um, do not drink poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you, it says here. Okay. This person brings some toxic behaviors with them, I think. So, like I said, you just need to make sure you know who you're dealing with first before you before you move forward with them. And if you do encounter any toxic behaviors or things like that, again, not a deal breaker, but it's something you have to work through. You know, you're not going to want to have committed to something before those things come to light and before you know you know, what toxic patterns or behaviors this person's really bringing with them, okay? So I have a feeling they're going to want to move at a very fast pace with you. And uh, you just need to make sure that you're not, that you're taking it at your pace, that you're not giving over control completely, all right? And one more. Whoop. Changed in the night. You have changed quickly. So this speaks to your own evolution here, okay? You've raised your own vibration. You've raised your own frequency. You know what you want out of life, okay? And don't let someone else's toxic patterns here, like, kind of knock you off course. Lead the way. Just one more I happen to notice on the bottom. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. So I think, yeah, you have potential with this person, but you have to lean into your own power. Do not allow them don't fall into toxic cycles here with this person is what I'm getting um, off this card it's not that the person themselves can't possibly have a place in your life this might end up being your ten of cups with this person all right they are gonna bring some negative tendencies with them though and you're you're gonna have to work through those cycles so that they don't pull you under with that okay that's just what I'm getting here that's a little bit of devil energy that's kind of peeking through but otherwise, really exciting read, guys. I mean, this person has a lot of romantic, passionate feelings for you. I do see a lot of positive potential here. You just need to kind of work through those little issues. And my advice would just be to take it slowly with this person at first, okay? Hope this resonated with you. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help our channel grow. Otherwise, I am wishing you peace and harmony and a beautiful weekend. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.